and welcome, welcome to Chat with, with Us! From the Star Legend with Rich and Helen! Live from... For the Star <laughs> Live from? Live from Star Legend! Ah, easy, easy, okay. With Rick and Helen. Yeah. Yeah. Helen, Rick or Rick Helen? Rick and Helen. Rick and Helen. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Islas Canarias. Or is it the Islas Canarias? We're in Tenerife or Tenerife, aren't we? Yes, on the Star Legend, Windstar's Star Legend. We are live from the ship for chat with us four. Actually, this is chat with us about four and a half because we did have one before, didn't we? We did have a chat with us four, which we recorded on. Scarlet Lady. Yes. Uh, hello and welcome to Chat With Us 4 with Rich and Helen. Today, we're not so formal, are we? No. I rather mucked up on the sound, so apologies for that. Which is why we've got these little microphones um, to try and... Oh, yours is hidden, that's good. <laughs> which uh, we'll try and sort out what we had last time. Oh, no, the battery went flat in one of them and it was just... <gasps> Yeah, what can I say? Anyway. And we've been sort of having a little bit of a mini break while Richard recuperates from some minor surgery. He's fine now. Um, but we're back up and running, as you can see. We're back on another cruise and lots more lined up. So we're going to mm. tell you a little bit about what we've been up to since yep. we last spoke to you and what the plan is going forward. I'm slowly replacing myself with cyborg parts to become a superhuman cruiser. How's that? Is that right? Obviously not. Anyway, so what are we going to talk about today? Well, we thought we could go over what we've been up to. Mm -hmm. So just a quick summary of all the ships that we've been on since the Silver Moon and what we liked about them and disliked about them. Or, so um, quick, 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 whistle stop tour of them. And then quick, a quick, brief top, top. summary of what we're going to do. <laughs> You're going to have to do lots okay. of cutting of this. Oh, OK, sorry. OK, so. Silver Moon was the last time you saw us. We were in our formal gear for our Silver Moon. We were. Um, we had a lovely 10 day voyage on Silver Moon. We did. We did lots of videos from that. So we'll Incredible. put links in the corner and you can see the videos that we've produced on Silver Moon. Yes, the best thing we can do is leave a link to the playlist here and uh, then you can have a look at the uh, Silver Moon videos we've done so far. There's still a few more to go. We've got a voyage vlog that I'm really excited to do. It's just that vlogs, you know, when you talk about like, you know, your experiences and the destinations and things take so long to put together. We're sort of backed up schedule wise to do vlogs. So we, we tend to do the, the sort of quicker ones first. So forgive us if you're waiting for any sort of vlogs or anything like that, because um, they just take a little bit more time and creativity to get ready. So what we're going to do now is just go through some of the uh, ships we've been on since chat with us three and um, just briefly one or two likes and one or two dislikes and then well that'll be it you'll be fed up with us by then so what should we start with virgin's scarlet, uh, scarlet lady. lady scarlet lady very yes. different experience to the silver silver moon obviously i'll so. of course lead a scarlet lady playlist we've done three videos uh, it's there I'm pointing to something, but I don't know what it is, but it's there. <laughs> what did we like about Scarlet Lady? Yeah. Well, Scarlet Lady, you know, we had some expectations going into Scarlet Lady and we had some reservations. I, well, I definitely had some reservations, but actually, you know, they were all sort of blown away pretty quickly. Yeah, very, very different. Uh, a huge ship. A lot of people don't like the design of the ship. I think it looks different and I like it. In fact, I'm probably the only one <laughs> I'm the only one that kind of likes the aesthetic of it. It looks a bit like a spaceship. You know, no one's got a rear end like Scarlet Lady. Am I allowed to say that? Dude, no one shit. has an aft quite like Scarlet Lady. You disliked that, didn't you? So yes. that was a dislike for Helen and a yeah. like for me. It's obviously a personal preference. Yeah, I did like the gym and the fitness facilities on board. I thought they were absolutely brilliant. I really liked the um, dining concept. So mo no main dining room, just six different restaurants, all with a different theme. The food was very good. And I thought generally the food on board was, was really, really good. Pool area, I didn't it was a I think the bit pool area is generally and... accepted to be not the best design in the world. Yeah. It's a very small pool. Busy There's as in in the the decor and and the the sort of noise and the ambience and everything really was all a little bit busy. So, 
what we'll do, I mean, instead of us waffling on about Scarlet Lady, have a look at the videos. We've done three, we've done a dining guide, we've done a ship tour, and we've done, a, I don't even know what we've done, oh, it's like a review thing. Yes. And good. then we did the sweet guide, didn't we? We did the sweet guide. Because we stayed in a uh, seriously sweet Anna C terrace, and we got a poke around the, the, the massive uh, Richard Branson suite, as I call it, because he stays there when he's, uh, when he's on board. He doesn't stay in a sea terrace. Perhaps he should, you know, get down with the kids. Anyway. Maybe he will. If you're watching this Richard Branson, <laughs> for a start you won't be, but if you are, uh, try a sea terrace out. I quite like the sea terrace, I found it quite cosy, apart from the tiny, tiny, tiny bathroom. Tiny bathroom. Tiniest bathroom Richard, if, you, uh, if you're watching this, get a sea terrace and get your massive suite and uh, just use the bathroom. Go to the bathroom suite. there, yeah. And do your other business in a sea terrace. Branson business, virgin business. After the, the relative uh, cacophony of noise and action that was Scarlet Lady, we toned it right down and visited Bordeaux. For our first ever river cruise on Uniworld, and we were on the SS Bon Voyage, sailing up and down the Garonne River and the Dordogne River. If you're familiar with Uniworld, uh, you'll know that it's a, uh, a sort of an ultra luxury line. And we had a lovely time uh, in Bordeaux, because obviously it's the epicenter of the wine world. It's the biggest wine region in the world. It was like a mecca for wine lovers. We do like the odd drop of vino, don't we? Well, it's an all-inclusive line, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and we really, and all the shore excursions are included. Mm -hmm. We really particularly liked the cycling excursions, so yeah. they were a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, going great. out on the bikes, riding through French countryside. Yeah. Life doesn't get much better than that, does it? it was Fabulous. Beautiful. So, but what we didn't like, well, there wasn't much we didn't like on Uniworld, but, you know, for the interest of balance, we've got to come up with a few little things, haven't we? The rivers themselves are not particularly attractive um, around that region. They're very muddy. They, they, they're at pains to say that it's not dirty. The river's not it's dirty. It's muddy. It's, it's silty, yeah. isn't it? It's a silty river. Something to do with the tides. It's something to do with the salt water, fresh water. Watch the vlog, you'll explain it all. Um, <laughs> but it is very brown, so it's very difficult to get uh, some decent photography out of that because the river is a certain colour. But the destinations were great. Once you got, once you docked, you know, the, the getting off um, everywhere or where you docked, it was all within walking yep. distance and and obviously lots of wine. So if you're a wine lover, it's perfect for you. So, yeah. And one other thing, the suites are quite small in comparison to other river ships. In particular, probably the smallest on the Uniworld fleet, I guess. Because I think it, we must be. Yeah, yeah. because the, we've looked at the other Uniworld uh, river ships and they've all got much larger suites. But I think it's just the, the design of the ship, you know, the way that the ship is designed, it doesn't allow for them to make the suites any bigger. So mm. um, that's just something you just have to put up with on that cruise. But they that are small is beautiful and they are fabulous. Yeah, they they're still really, beautiful, really comfortable. Utterly beautiful suites. Right, moving on from one river ship, we went straight to another one. Well, not exactly straight to another one, but our cruise after that was a double act. It was. It was a... Plethora of river ships. A plethora, a, pl a trio <laughs> of ships. No, actually, it wasn't. It was a duo of ships. So we travelled to the Douro in Portugal. We did the entire length of the Douro. We went up the river in a emerald ship, the Emerald Radiance. And we came back down the river in the scenic azure, which is the what's a sister ship, a cousin ship. Yeah, they're, the cousin ship. They're, they're both two brands under a, an under umbrella. One umbrella. We got the opportunity to try both ships, which was fabulous because we could literally compare and contrast the two brands um, immediately after one another. So that was really, really good. Quite fun, wasn't it? So likes and dislikes. Well, they were two very different cruises. The Emerald cruise ship was mainly UK and European passengers and the Scenic was mainly um, American and Canadian, wasn't it? So it was very, very different. Because Scenic and Emerald are owned by an Australian family, I believe, they are very popular with Australians that come across to Europe. So yeah. there, there's quite a high incentive, although there wasn't any this time because obviously because the travel ban. Australians ban. can't leave the country. So yeah, the demographic might have been slightly different mm. um, to normal because obviously Australia is can't leave Australia at the moment so um, similar but different vibes on both the ships the Emerald I mean they were both very shiny and glossy very similar and ships actually and, yeah very, very modern ship. and sleek floor to ceiling windows giving you the beautiful views of the Douaro Valley which is 
as far as scenery goes, I mean, it's going to be hard to beat, I think. Again, a huge wine port region, so a lot of the excursions were focused on wine and port, which was lovely. And, and I think the scenic Azure so far has one of the nicest suites we've ever stayed in. The suite mm. itself was, was gorgeous, and you can mm. see that here. You so can. We'll put a link to that. You can. Um, it was beautiful, especially on a river ship. So, I mean, not massive, obviously, because you're on a river ship, so limited space again but it was so comfortable and yep. so well appointed and, and there wasn't really much to dislike either i mean a bit like the uh, the uni world you know you when you're talking sort of top end there's very little to dislike um i would say the only thing is that the bordeaux rivers are uh, not the bordeaux river what we're talking about the douro is uh, busier than uh, the bordeaux region so you've got a lot more river ships on there all fighting for space so yeah. sometimes uh, you'll get one you're eating your dinner and one will just kind of like all of a sudden <laughs> slap right yeah. on your plate basically yeah. and there's a little clip of it somewhere i'll have to dig that one out uh, you might be able to see it now actually as i'm rambling on but it, interesting experience but that's actually typical of river cruising if, if you do the danube or the rhone or something like that you often find them they all dock together um, because there's not enough berths for all the ships so you find yourself clambering over another ship to get to the shore it's quite interesting. It's a good um, excuse to have a little bit of a snout at the ship as well, so <laughs> someone else's ship. Okay, we left the river after that and went back onto the oceans. And this time we went back to one of our perennial favourites. One of our large ship favourites, yeah, the Sky Princess, which we had done about four or five months before the pandemic. Yep. We were on her inaugural cruise, so we produced lots of videos for her. We did. So we'll put the playlist here so we you did. can see all of her ship tours, dining guides, things like that. They're ever popular, those ones. And she's a fabulous ship. It almost has a small ship feel within a large ship. I don't know that, you know, in, in terms of, you know, feel and atmosphere and staff and everything. Yeah, that's how I feel about Sky Princess anyway. We were invited by the, the Princess PR team to experience the Ocean Medallion, which obviously we had experienced when we were on, on her inaugural cruise, but um, I think they'd done some work on it mm. in lockdown, and um, so we were there to sort of give it another uh, a go, weren't we? It has been much improved since the inaugural voyage. We found it fabulous. I mean, I know mm. some people on some of the other Princess ships have had a few teething problems, you know, still having teething problems with it, but we found it to work really well on the Sky mm. Princess, didn't we? So um, we loved it. You just walk up to your door and the door mm. opens. We were ordering drinks from a variety of locations around the ship and that somehow the crew found us and the drinks came very quickly. Food, if you ordered food on the app, it was, it worked really, really well. I love that you, if you were sitting in a venue and you don't know where the nearest toilet is, you can just bring up the the um, medallion app and it will just tell you where the nearest toilet where is. Where is the bulk button? <laughs> so yeah. you don't have to keep walking around yeah. looking for the nearest nearest um, nearest toilets. And you, I could see where Rich was all the time, mm. so I could mm. say, oh, you keep an eye on me. I could keep uh, an eye on you. Like, where is he now? For goodness' sake, he was supposed to be here ten minutes ago, yeah. and there I was. I could see that you in were... In some obscure corner of the ship, trying to take some obscure video, video, I guess. <laughs> um, where are you? She doesn't have to actually text me now on WhatsApp and go, where are you? In that kind of like stern, you know, that kind of stern text that you kind of... It doesn't look stern, but when you read it, you know it's stern. You don't have to do that with Sky Princess. You just look at it and it goes, oh, there he is. Oh, silly sod. So when we uh, disembarked Sky, uh, we had a little time off because I had an operation and uh, couldn't really move very fast or often but uh, we are fighting fit again and ready to go uh, almost fighting fit almost fighting fit almost, almost. You get in there. I'm getting there i don't get any sympathy anymore i died a death a long time ago <laughs> didn't i uh, did i actually get any sympathy ever uh you did a little did first For couple of days a week. first couple yeah. of days well no mm. it was about a week believe me was it felt like forever <laughs> <laughs> So once I've finished my mandatory recuperation, we find ourselves on Windstar Star Legend, which is where we are now. Yes. We're super excited to finally be here and trying it. It's and taken about four attempts. So I think this is the fourth attempt, yeah. isn't it? So very privileged and very lucky to be on here. We're late in the season. Star Legend is uh, dropping us off at Lisbon and then going across to the Caribbean for the yeah. winter. Hopefully we'll get a, uh, the very first video out for you within the next week and you can see for yourself what the fuss is about. They've spent a lot of money and if you're slightly apprehensive about having a ship chopped in half and then welded back together again, mm -hmm. please remember this one simple fact. All new ships are made in blocks that are welded together, so it's no different. And actually, 
if you look at the physics of welding, and if you're a welder out there, please correct me if I'm wrong, I don't quite know this, the weld is stronger than the steel that surrounds it. Did you know that? It's this, actually... this coming from someone that doesn't even know how to put a screw in the wall, I mean, for goodness sake. Oh, God, you got, got me right there. God, that was a kick in the heart. I wouldn't believe was. anything that he says about anything That was a kick in the heart. With... Anyway, actually, <laughs> as far as we're concerned, this is the second stretched ship we've been yes. on because we've been on the uh, Silver Spirit, Silver Sea Silver Spirit, when it was newly stretched. We are actually staying in the, the new block. So this is the new block. This didn't exist before. No. So if we were staying on Star Legend prior to the stretching, we would literally not exist. But it's fabulous. It's very exciting. We've got lots to show you with that. So we will, uh, we will so show you. So keep an eye out. So going forward, we thought we would slightly change the format of our chat with us because now that we're traveling a bit more, we're finding it harder to, to do them more regularly. So we'll probably try and aim to do about one a month. And we thought we'd make them much more of a sort of question and answer session. So a general question and answer session rather than focusing on any particular ship. So if you have any questions for us, that you would like to ask us. And I know some of you have already done that, but if you don't mind asking the question again, because we've sort of lost where we're at with questions. <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you could just slack. leave them in a comment yeah. below this video, that would be great. And we'll try and keep on top of them going forward. But any questions that you would like answered, then please just leave us the questions. They can be about us, they can be about our travels, they can be about a cruise ship, they can be about a brand, they can be about luxury cruising, what, river cruising, whatever you fancy, anything you think we might be able to answer for you mm. then just ask the Please question do. and ask away. we'll see if we can answer it for ask you away. this is instead of us doing a sort of youtube live uh, a sort of a weekly or a monthly youtube live because uh, youtube lives are great but depending on the um, signal where you're at they can be problematic so we like to just do what we do now which is uh, film something on location because locations are fabulous i do yeah. like filming chat with us as in different locations because it's fun it adds a little bit of variety but if we do youtube lives it all depends on the signal and obviously if you're relying on wi-fi on any ship and it could be the best ship <laughs> in the world sometimes you're going to fail patchy in fact, to say the least in fact I think. often you're going to fail yeah. aren't you so instead of asking us a question live please leave us a question in the comments anything you like we will uh, we'll put it in the hat and we'll try and answer it in our next chat with us which will probably be sometime just before christmas now so just to wrap things up thank you very much for watching chat with us for we'll leave a clip uh, with the uh, original chat with us for which was very silly. Onboard Scarlet Lady. We'll leave you with that clip. In the meantime, please do leave us a comment. Don't switch off now because you'll want to see Chat With Us 4.0. Just a little bit of it. And we'll see you in Chat With Us 5. Au revoir and safe sailing. No, not au revoir. Adios. Oh. Ad uh, right, yeah, okay. We're in, so, we're in Spain, aren't we? In the meantime, adios from... The Canary Islands. Santa Cruz. Is it Santa Cruz? Yes. Ah, adios from Santa Cruz uh, in Tenerife. Is it Tenerife? Or is that just what they say in UK? I don't know. Uh, from Tenerife. And we will catch up with you soon. And we'll leave you with this. The Virgin. Chat with us for outtakes. Go! <laughs>a seriously suite which is the entry level suite which is rather lovely and we get these rock star robes however i've just noticed only just and we're getting off tomorrow that mine doesn't have a hood mine and rich has, has a hood mine says rock star but i don't have a hood i'm no. rather envious of the hood the hood is good yes it makes you look like a jedi yeah white jedi or father christmas i don't know which <laughs> no, and, and also obviously as we're on uh, scarlet lady um this isn't uh, an attempt for us to be um saucy at all because we are fully clothed under these robes aren't we well so, we are but this is like a you know saucy ship it's, yeah, well, it's marked as well, a saucy so, ship yeah but actually our, our uh, four days have been quite uh uh, slightly less than saucy, I suppose. A bit more conventional. <laughs> I don't know where you should put this in. <laughs> General cruise questions about anything. Um, Us we also like or our cruise. We'd cruise, also like yeah. no, no silver moon questions. Not personally. Well, no. you can ask personal questions. About no, don't ask. Ask. Well, you can ask personal questions. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to. <laughs> well, <laughs> do you want to ask personal questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> there's a. Uh, there's a. There is a, a, a show on uh, Scarlet Lady that is very personal. We won't go into that. No, now. let's not we'll go into that. talk about that next time. Yes. Um, we haven't been to it yet. No, we need to go to it. Anyway.
we'll see you later. But what is it? Fair winds and sail seas, or fair seas and <laughs> sail winds? What is it? Fair winds and rough seas? None rough of that, season? I don't think. You know what I mean, anyway. <laughs> Read the caption. Until next time. Bye. Bye.